Hi everybody, welcome back to the airplane of the game of League of Legends. I'm the Stretch Professor, playing some Nami here. Good God. Dude, afternoons are so rough on League of Legends, but I'm trying to play a little bit extra to see if I can gain some ranks. It's not working out. It's not working out. The last game, we literally had our top lane, like, entered 1 and 16. Like, actually, after he died once and our jungler pinged him, he ran to bottom lane and just ran into tower against our bottom laner twice and we still almost won like we took the game to 35 minutes and if you subtract the 16 kills that he donated to the enemy team we were up like 10 kills we we're only down six and we got their first inhibitor and i was just like please man please just try to win you can win it right now it doesn't even matter what you did before just win it right now and he just wouldn't stop so it happens to everybody it's just a little frustrating it's just like the last three weeks of the season and it was very easily winnable but it's okay, we're back in here doing another game. Uh, now we picked Nami here. Sona's pretty decent into Nami. I just wanted a healer. I think, honestly, I'm just going to take gold runes every game, just go coin, and just get Ardent as fast as I can. I mean, I'm just going to go back to basics and just do whatever I can to win. I might even try to dust off the old Soraka. I don't know. Every time I go Soraka, they go Executioners, but... We do have kill threat. If I land a bubble at some point, um, you know, we might be able to kill him. We'll see. Now, I'm not super thrilled about this Nidalee top lane, but they have a Scion top, so it should be a pretty easy early game. I mean, this guy does have hundreds of Nidalee games, so hopefully he's okay. I don't know. The rest of our team's pretty solid, though. Like, Vagar is actually quite good right now. This guy's not that experienced on Vagar, though, which is worrying against an Ari. I need to try to apply more pressure here, but it's just hard because Sona's just going to heal through it. I mean, I pinged it. Yeah. That hurts my soul to see people just miss wide open CS like this. I've got to apply more pressure. It's just, I know it's not going to matter that much because of Sona. She at least got a kill there. Make up kill. Hopefully she gets away. We got the first one, Ari. Not great. Kate use her mana on me. She still has a lot of mana, though. I wish Zaya would push a little harder. Or help me with her ass. But it's a little ambitious. I actually really like Janna's wave clear now with her tornado. Like, it's so cheap. It's only 60 mana. It does a lot of wave clear. I mean, that's how we almost won last game. is because we got first tower, even with the guy inting right in front of us. We got first tower... Uh, by like six minutes with Kate, because I just spam the tornado on every wave. Nami does not have great wave clear though. Lulu does, but the problem with Lulu is she doesn't have a heal. So you lose to anyone else that has a heal that can trade better than you in lane. Now Ari's missing. She's not level six though. I think we're all right. Hopefully she doesn't roam pre six. Come on, Italy, please. I need a strategic point. She's top, bro. <sighs> Caitlyn. <laughs> yeah, of course she is, because you're Nidalee top lane. Like, I love it how people play just, like, obscure champions, and they are, like, surprised when people exploit that, when they take advantage of, like, the weaknesses of those champions. Zaya's just really not, like, doing in here. It's just frustrating. Because we could, I mean, this Sona, like, I feel like she's auto-filled. She's really not being that aggressive. And 
The only reason I'm not being aggressive is because Zaya's like not doing anything. <laughs> So I would step up the aggression and like go for bubbles and kills, but there's just no point. Like I'm being as aggressive as I can be without just like taking too much trade. I just can't do it by myself. If I was Zyra or um, Zyra or something, I could maybe do it by myself. Vi's only level four, so she's not anywhere close to six. I've been trying uh, Spell Thieves. I think just coin, though. I just went um, gold runes and coin. I'm just going just Arden as fast as I can. I do like getting Sight Zone early, but I'm just going to try it. I mean, I need to try something else, because whatever I've been doing hasn't been working for the last week. And yeah, a lot of it's been kind of the enters and stuff like that, but I just got to carry harder. And I think just more gold is just going to give me more items and you know, potentially give me some advantages. I just have to be careful not get killed. Okay, there's... If we had this pushed up, we could make a play on their blue. Okay, that was dangerous, but their bot lane didn't really respond, so... I mean, really, it doesn't do anything to harass them, but because of Sona... But it might make Kate waste mana on me so she doesn't have as much wave clear at least. I mean, it's better than sitting around doing nothing. She's seriously going to back and give up a wave. Okay. Yeah, you get a BF sword. Okay, I'm just going to show presence here though, like she didn't back. Hopefully they didn't see her right there. I don't think they did. And then maybe they'll think that she's just like hiding out in a bush or something and they won't push. If they see me leave, then they're going to know she backed and then they're going to push. But right now, I think they're kind of late. Okay, so I do, we do have a, an advantage here. I could try to roam middle, but Ari's missing. Right, she's right there, she's right there. Vi's gonna, okay, Vi's not six yet, okay. So we can zone him out of some stuff here, potentially. So that's our ticket to push this and get some damage on the tower. Well, I don't know about that, bro. What? Okay, well, we got her flash. Is her flash is 1400. We might be able to get like a third of the tower damage here. Ari was top two, so I know we're pretty safe to push really hard here. They could be rotating down on us, though, so we got to be a little more cautious. Yeah, they're finally back. But we did get half damage on the tower. Even though we didn't gain a huge um, CS advantage there, we did get half damage on tower, so that's good. So if Sona leaves lane again, we can kill it. Okay, she's a lot slower than I am because she doesn't have uh, gold runes, it looks like. She got boots instead of upgrading, so... I should have Ardent next back. I don't think she will. She might, depending on how long the back is. See if Sage will come down here.
I know Vi's here. We need to be a little careful. Vi's here, and then Ari could collapse. He's going to roam down. Okay. Uh, okay, Ari's kind of pushed in. Kate's taking free damage. Hello, Vi's full health. Uh, I don't know about this. I mean, maybe. I mean, they're kind of scared. I do have Flash, so I can get out if we need to. I think we'll get it. I don't... We've kind of got the advantage. They don't have vision. They don't really know where we are or what we're doing. Okay. So we're keeping pretty good vision control, which is control wards and our warding totem. Sort of. I mean, not great, but... Uh... Oh god, dude. If she makes it out, Ari's gonna come at her. Okay. Let me get that blue buff. No, they haven't backed yet either, I don't think. No. Can we kill her? I don't know. Maybe. It's possible. Okay, we did crack that. Okay, we got her roll. It's fine. I mean, it's not a huge cooldown, but it's something. Now if Sejuani gets in there... I'm not be able to get a kill. It's just so hard to kill Ari. Ari's classically just kind of a good solo queue champion. Okay, good. Okay, she's still not going to have, um... So Kate's up in CS, but she hasn't backed yet. If they do back, we're going to get tower, so we've got a back advantage on them, because they aren't respecting. Now Vi is, uh, on our side of the map. Okay, she did clear out my pink ward, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a more defensive one down here. Dude, bye, 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 bye. Vi's here. Yeah, Vi's right there. Okay, there we go. Might need to be able to get some damage on a tier two here. You know, Nidalee has done a great job of absorbing all that pressure top lane. She hasn't. I think she died once very early on, but they've spent a lot of resources trying to deal with her. Yeah, we can get this, or at least get half on it. Let's put that heal on her just to trigger Ardent. The new Ardent does help push quite a lot better because you get it yourself. The mana regen is... Uh, we do have mana off of... Uh, we are all tied to the ocean. 
Water Drake coming in. But I need wards. My ward score, my vision score is going to go down on average. If I rush Ardent every time, but, you know, I don't know. If, if we just play safer, it is a huge damage spike once you get it. It's like 1,300 gold worth of stats for your AD carry. And it's pretty nice for you, too, even as a support, just autoing. Okay. It's fine. Let's just see if we can get through here. Go down here and get this mid tower. I don't. Yeah, I should just go in AD. Get all these easy outer towers. Okay, yeah, let's just get dragon. She's still at ult. Okay. Yeah, we need to we need to stop. We were just going way too hard. I mean, I, I didn't think that the Scion thing there was a big deal, but I guess it was. Um. The fact that uh, Scion engaged on the outside there, because I was fine. I mean, I have flash. I have everything. But then they just fought all in there, so I shouldn't have done that. It was just not. Because we didn't have Sejuani. Sejuani said she wanted it back, and she did. Should she have? No. We should have continued pressure, I think, on the bot tower. But she did, and now they are getting advantages where they had none. So it's frustrating. We should have just backed up. So that was, you know, at least partially my fault for... Just walking that direction. You can't give up those edges now, because they could just snowball this back. You can't give people anything. It'd be complete shutout games is what you have to aim for. And we just gifted them like three or four kills and a dragon. All of that should have been ours. I mean, we have a nidalee, like... We don't necessarily have the late game. So Sona's gonna outscale me. Yeah, I guess we can just let Nidalee split. We got Scion's ult. We got him to half health. It's not terrible.
And Italy's splitting over there on the side. We've got Vi out of it. His coins. His water drake's pretty nice. Vagar maybe catch some people. Yeah, there we go. Give him that vision. Juicy vision. Uh, Scion's ult's gonna be up again soon. Uh, she's gonna get violated, probably. Maybe not, I don't know. It's just getting dicey. Sounds going top. Yeah, we need to just like we're getting some chip damage. I mean, we're kind of working down that top tower. Um, Italy, like, she doesn't do any damage with her spears. Yeah, we just need to keep the lanes up. Now, they have pretty good engage with, um... Ari, I mean, they have a lot of good engage with Ari, Vi... I don't know if Vi ulted or not. Well, no crap, Vagar. You're the one who got caught alone, buddy. Okay, Nidalee's not here, but she does have TP. Need to reposition there. Just need to push this up. Okay, good. Now we've got all lanes pushing. I don't know want to step on that. Yeah, just get this.
Let's get Windrake, and then we can just stab. Have Nidalee split metal. She should, I mean, I think she can solo out um, Scion. I mean, Vagar has a really weird build, but he, like, that stun, that stun plus the Sejuani, like, Sejuani is so huge right now as a champion. Like, th that's really the true winners are just the, uh, the Vagar, the Sejuani. I mean, I'm doing all right, but the Zaya, like, just having a hyper carry with an actual front line, something that I haven't had in, uh, a while. It feels like just having a tank crazy it's like it's like crowd control wins games or something that allows Vagar to get some good picks we just keep vision over that wall it's hard to siege Kate oh god Nidalee should be able to get a lot of pressure. Scion can't really do anything about her. Got him. Bank shot. Off the backboard. Make sure we get this. Okay. Okay. That was... I was a little worried. A little worried. Because the Nidalee top. But she actually did pretty well. Um... You know, the biggest thing was they tried to gank her like two or three times and didn't convert any kills, and they left bot lane alone. And that gave us some opportunities to pressure and get ahead. Not like super far ahead, but I was able to get my Ardent, and we just got, we just outscaled him. So, yeah, uh, I think I'm just going to try, I'm just... I'm just gonna try to play safer, and then just get art. Just go ardent sensor stuff, and just go standard ardent sensor things, and just position better and play safer. Um, they all left, buddy. That's true. Anyways, yeah. So that's gonna be it. I mean, Sejuani was the real. Um, you know, was part of the real deal there is they just can't kill her and they don't have a good tank. Um, you know, Vi's only sort of kind of tanky and then, um, you know, Scion, you can just work around Scion and kite him so much that it didn't matter. But yeah, just the fact that we had a front line and Vagar's cage, like we had so much pick potential between Vagar's cage and my bubble and um, Zaya's feather stuns. We just had just a better team comp overall. So anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you very much. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.